Hey guys, let's make a Willy Wonka cake. So first I start by rolling out some white gum paste and I printed an edible image of the Wonka logo and I put my edible glue down and then I put the edible image on top of the gum paste and now I'm just tracing around the image with a pen blade. Uh, it has a really nice sharp blade and you can get around all these little crevices very easily. And once I'm done with that, I move on to the next one. I do the same thing. Now this one's going to be the golden ticket. So I just trace around that. And now I'm going to make some of the little candies. I just rolled a ball and then I cut out some squares, twisted them and made a hole with the ball tool. Use my edible glue just to make a couple of these little candies that are gonna go on the cake. Set those aside to dry. And now I'm going to roll out some different colors of fondant so that I can twist them together and make some lollipops. I do glue them with my edible glue first, and then I dip the stick, a lollipop stick, into my edible glue and insert it, rest it on some parchment paper so that it can dry. I usually let it rest for about a day or two. Now I'm going to make a mini Wonka hat out of fondant. So I just have purple fondant here. I added a little bit of Tylos and I'm just shaping it so that it looks like the Wonka hat. Set that aside to dry. And now I'm going to make the everlasting gobstopper. It's fondant with some Tylos kneaded into it so it can dry nice and hard. I form them into rectangles and then kind of taper them slightly on one end. And I did look at a picture of an everlasting gobstopper on the internet just to make sure that I assembled it in the right way. And now back to the golden ticket. Um, I did let it dry in this kind of wavy shape. It's just how I stood it up so that it can have some movement. Um, I wanted it to be shimmery, so I did add cake shimmer from Poppy Paints in the gold color. Right now I'm just adding yellow buttercream to my crumb coated cake and I'm going to make it nice and smooth. If you do wanna learn how I get my cakes so smooth, I do have an online buttercream cake class. I'll put the link in the description if you wanna check that out. And then I put this in the fridge so it can firm up. I'm adding my edible glue to the back of this edible image so it sticks to the front of the cake. The golden ticket, I ended up putting a couple of floral wires in there just so that it stands up straight. And then now I get to add all of my fondant details. Once I started putting it together, I kind of felt like something was missing. So I did want to make some water ganache. I have a full tutorial on how to make water ganache. It's super easy. I'll put the link in the description as well. So I'm just going to add some of that water ganache here and there. Um, I actually wanted to put some underneath the everlasting gobstopper. So I just picked that up and added some of the water ganache and then uh, placed it right back on top. After I finished adding all of the water ganache, I did add some rainbow colored sprinkles and then I made these little mini gumballs out of fondant and then I'm just placing those around the cake as well. I love how this cake came out. I hope you guys like it too. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below.